Hi, my name is Pearl Uberu, and in this video, I'm going to share how serverless SQL warehouses deliver optimal price and performance for all of your SQL workloads. Some key advantages of using a serverless warehouse is that you get instant elastic compute. This eliminates waiting for infrastructure resources and avoids resource over-provisioning during usage spikes. Serverless SQL warehouses can also help with minimizing management overhead. It does this by ensuring that capacity management, patching, upgrades, and performance optimization are all handled by Databricks. This helps by simplifying operations and leads to predictable pricing. But how does this happen all under the hood? It's through three performance features, Photon, Predictive IO, and Intelligent Workload Management. Photon is the native vectorized query engine on Databricks. It makes your existing SQL and DataFrame API calls faster and reduces your total cost per workload. Predictive IO is a suite of features that accelerates read, write, updates, and deletes from cloud storage. And it leverages indexless indexes, which means you don't have to rely on search indices that require an ongoing cost to maintain. Instead, Predictive IO uses machine learning to do efficient point lookups and predict data location. And finally, intelligent workload management. Machine learning is applied to the workload in order to efficiently route queries to the right machines, preemptively scaling up and scaling down the cluster in anticipation of workload changes. It does this while also prioritizing the processing queries in order to maximize throughput and minimize latency. To create a serverless SQL warehouse, it's simple. First, you have to have been granted SQL warehouse creation privileges by your workspace administrator. You may create SQL warehouses using the Databricks UI, SQL Warehouse API, or Terraform. But for the purpose of this demo, we'll just use the Databricks UI. Let's create our first SQL warehouse. Give it a name and then select a cluster size. Cluster size represents the size of the driver node and number of worker nodes associated with the cluster. The default is extra large, but if you wanted to reduce query latency, you can always increase the size. Auto to stop determines whether the warehouse stops if it's idle for the specified number of minutes. Idle SQL warehouses continue to accumulate DBUs and cloud instance charges until they're stopped. Scaling sets the minimum and maximum number of clusters that'll be used for a query. The default is a minimum and a maximum of one cluster. You can increase the maximum clusters if you want to handle more concurrent users for a given query. Type determines the type of warehouse, and as discussed earlier, serverless is the best for startup performance, efficient I.O., smarter handling of query demand, and rapid auto-scaling when query queuing occurs. To connect to a participating application, tool, SDK, or API to a SQL warehouse, you can just use the information here to do so. Now that your serverless SQL warehouse has been configured, you can now run all of your SQL workloads at the best price and performance on Databricks.